wish that there was an Imagine Cup when I was in university. I think that would be that would be awesome. Like that would have been the greatest thing ever because there just wasn't anything like that. Nobody did that. To see the population of India, we got around 1 billion people and out of that 70% stay in the rural areas where you have absolutely nothing. The healthcare services are not great. The doctors don't have access to the state-of-the-art instruments like they have in cities. This is really what our idea was, to get at least basic healthcare over there. So we got a vending machine over here which can talk to the doctor. Now the patient comes in and he has no idea what's wrong with him. The doctor sitting here can now see the patient and he can talk to him, he can take his temperature too. We are only uh, focusing on things like stomach ache, headache, cough and cold and fever. So the basic things like if the people get treatment for these basic uh, things first, it may not become severe later on. Which can at least give them the minimum health care what they deserve. Personally, uh, what got us excited was we could make our own model and then probably sometime in the future start our own company. He is an agriculture engineer, I am an IT person. So uh, we come up to, with the idea of uh, digitalizing the farmers, digitalizing the seeding machines and all of the equipment of farming. We believe the project will change the way of farming uh, because it regulates the fertilizer output on a seeding machine. Uh, People leverage their investments. We increase the efficiency by decreasing the cost. And when we upgrade their system, they can use their old machines and we upgrade their machines with our system. So they can use the same system, but they can increase the efficiency. That's the key point. And soil pollution is a big problem about the world. And we stop soil pollution with this machine only farmlands. Oftentimes we just ignore the social problems such as famine and world hunger and other problems because that's not my problem. That's something that happens like in the backside of the earth that doesn't affect me. I just felt like I had to do something. I found a news article from the United Nations FAO saying that insects are the best substitute food for next generation. And I thought maybe using technology we can make it happen. Like you can make people who are suffering from hunger to become self-sufficient by picking the best insect and breed them inside. They will get all year round the resource of food and also the food that, that is very safe and very, that is very reproductive. You know, our project is kind of awkward because people abhor the idea of eating insects. I mean, for people, insects are not food. But we are so glad that we made it final because that means people like who heard our voices, who heard our presentation, they thought there's a potential, there's a possibility that using insects may be a key to solve the world hunger. The amount of uh, recognition we've got is pretty amazing and this competition has really got us the push what we're looking for. If you don't win, uh, we also produce the machine, we also realize our dream. This Imagine Cup competition, I think by letting other people know that there are people who are trying to solve the world problem using technology will awaken lots of people who are smarter than us and the world will become a much better place. It has been a long road to get here. Welcome to everyone to the Imagine Cup or award ceremony that we call the World Festival. The next category I want to present awards for is the Embedded Development category. So let's take a look at the nominees. Way Free, Korea. Harb, United States. Intellectronics, Ukraine. IC, China. Brainy Brownie, Mexico. AST, Turkey. So the third place winner in this category, Team Intellectronics from Ukraine. The 
second prize goes to team ICE from China. China. The first place in this category goes to team Korea. Wafri Korea. So there's actually a special trophy that will actually follow the embedded development category around year after year. And if you've ever watched wrestling, <laughs> it's this. The World Championships of Embedded Development, World Champions. So you also get to take this with you, but you have to give it back next year. <laughs> Here you go. All right, a big round of applause for all the Imagine Cup finalists for 2009. Put your hands together. We got to know many, many friends. Are we gonna really, we're gonna really miss them. We are very sad for the ending in this competition. I hope I can compete in um, the next Imagine Cup in Poland 2010.